She's bringing the trailer park lifestyle to the world. Come inside, don't be shy, cause Jolene can't wait to meet ya. She's the queen of the park, she's got gossip news and lots of food to feed ya. Jolene Sugar Baker, Jolene Sugar Baker is one budget minded girl. Lots of cheap fashion is the passion at the park, the passion at the park, the passion at the park. Dropping in on neighbors is all part of Jolene's world. Slap on all your blue eye shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with pride in the double wide. Hi there, Trailer Park fans! I'm Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to a very special Cooking with Jolene. By now, hopefully you've had the chance to find my other cooking shows on the internet. Each one is about 20 minutes long. I'm deciding to bring longer content to the internet, but I know there are some of you out there that have little teeny tiny attention spans. So I've decided to pack down a fun, inventive recipe so that you too, the ones with attention problems, can learn how to cook the trailer park way, and of course introduce you to all my cooking shows. So hang on, today is my first special, which I call the Black Walnut Pinto Bean Fudge Experiment. I'll be right back. Welcome back to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen. You know, I know many of you go to the grocery store and run really quick past the bags of delights, which I call dried beans. Pinto beans is one of the most uh, fiber-containing beans out there, and it's full of all those good stuff that your doctor tells you that you need more of, like manganese and ironese and all kinds of stuff that is in there that are just perfect and people really don't know what to do with these bags and really all they have to do is turn them over they usually have some cooking uh, instructions there on the back but you know according to the government in this handy dandy chart it says that we need to eat more beans and and include them into our everyday life and I don't know about you but in my everyday life I like chocolate so I've decided to to disguise the pinto beans into a fudgy like fudge. So today we're going to learn how to take these pinto beans and turn them into a chocolate fudge. You'll need the following ingredients. One cup pinto beans cooked. You don't have to use them in the bag. You can use the ones in the can. Those work just as well. Just be sure to rinse them. One fourth cup milk. One tablespoon vanilla. Six tablespoons real butter. No substitutions allowed. Six ounces of semi-sweet chocolate squares. One two ounce package of your favorite nuts. Today I'm using black walnuts. sugar. You know, pinto beans, pinto being Mexican for painted, start out as little teeny tiny beans with speckled pink all over them. I went ahead and put my cooked pinto beans into the bowl. In actuality, I didn't mess with that bag of beans that we talked about earlier, I went ahead and went for the canned pinto beans this time. But a lot of times this has salt in it. So what I did is went ahead and put it in the colander there and rinsed it off with some cool water. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the pinto beans in the bowl and we're going to mash them down using the milk. 
you're going to need a one fourth cup milk for this. So I'm going to go ahead and get the milk out and pour one fourth cup of the milk just like that. It comes straight out of the refrigerator. You don't need to heat it up or anything. So we're pouring the milk into the beans right here. And we're just going to mash them up. Now, we need to melt down the chocolate and the butter that will go into the pinto bean mixture. That's where your friend, the microwave, comes in hand. Be sure not to burn your chocolate or make it explode in the microwave. There we go. I melted down six tablespoons of butter with six tablespoons of semi-sweet chocolate. What I'm going to do is pour that into a nice big bowl. And then I'm going to add the pinto bean mixture. And then we can add a dash of vanilla. And the two pounds of powdered sugar goes right on in there. Wow, it, it's already starting to look like fudge and you can't tell that there's any added pinto beans or fiber or whatever you did to it. You can't see that in the mix. So what we're going to do is go ahead and add the nuts. Next, take your favorite deep plate. We're going to be using this to pour the fudge mixture into. Now, pour it in your favorite fudge plate and smooth it all the way out. It smells so good and they say that even the, the dark chocolate in it is good for you too. You just can't beat that. Added fiber in your favorite dessert, fudge. So let's put this in the refrigerator for two to three hours. And there you have it. Extra fiber in your favorite dessert, chocolate fudge. You just can't beat that. It's good for you, keeps you regular, and it sneaks in some, some more of that protein that you obviously need in your life. So be sure to fool your guests tonight with some black walnut pinto bean fudge. It's just so great. I'm going to have to try some right now. Your guests will never know the difference. I'm Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen. Be sure to watch my other cooking shows available here on the internet. Slap on all your blue eyes shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with pride in the double wide.